Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Brittany Joy. I'm back with another one. <laughs> um, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Joy Fam. Or whatever. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. Um, but yeah, it's the first video of the new year. Oh my god, it's the first video of the new year. So many good things about to start happening, y'all. I know we say that every year, so cliche, but good things are really about to happen. I feel like 2-2-2, 2022 is going to be a good year for a lot of people. So if you receive it, then receive it. If you don't, you don't, period. I know I put a lot on my face this morning. Um, y'all saw me do my little skincare. I don't know why this is pushed back all the way, but... If you're new here, yes, I wear my bonnet a lot. Um, I like wearing my bonnet. Uh, I work from home. I'm at home majority of the time, so this is what it looks like, okay? When I'm stepping out, though, I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out, and you're going to see it full force, okay? So get ready. No, I'm just playing. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what day I'm going to post this. But, um, yeah, I got to put my ring light on me because it's dark. Um, it's very gloomy and it's raining. Let me show y'all the little light outside. Very gloomy, very rainy, very. Ugh. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, believe it or not, I actually enjoy the rain now. Like being a Californian, I am originally from Los Angeles ie area shout out to the ie because they don't get no credit um i say la because a lot of people don't know where the ie is they don't know what the ie is but it's about 45 minutes from la basically but anywho um being from california and coming here and getting used to the rain that's like a big deal to me so excuse me while i celebrate okay um <laughs> i just made my coffee That's so good. But these are the new cups I got from Ikea. Um, and I got the small ones too. They're so freaking cute. But anywho. I'm actually about to finish this intro. But I wanted to show y'all um, something really quick. Something I feel like I should share with you guys. Something. You know, we keep it real in this channel. We keep it very authentic i feel um i i just be myself when i turn this camera on i'm still britney like i really don't change anything so um why you know why for what who cares what people think you know and i'm going into 22 like that like i really don't care because i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do me and it made me realize I don't care anymore what anybody gotta say. I'm a to me. I'm a to me. But anywho, so these boxes came in yesterday. <clears throat> these are the boxes for my equipment for my old job at 
the job I was raving about last year that I was so excited to get, I quit. Um, <laughs> I quit. Okay. Um, and yes, so now I have to put um, their property in the boxes and ship it back out to them. So yeah, that's what's currently going on. I can actually tell y'all what the name of the company is. The name of the company was Liberty Mutual. Really good company. Um, it's just the matter of, here, let me turn the camera. It's just a matter of their training process. No. And having to deal with having to deal with all those customers and, and it's kind of like I knew what I was getting myself into. And I was I was in between when I before I accepted this position, there was two recruiters that called me from Liberty. There was two. One was for a fifty thousand dollar a year opportunity. And then this one basically had already hired me for this one but the 50,000 one wanted me to do more interviews and then the, the this one was paying less but I was thinking like let me just get my foot in the door with this I, they already want me to come in like now you know I mean it's call center I've done call center why not they might be very good with their training programs it might actually work out and I'll be able to move up blah blah it didn't work out like that, unfortunately. And all that stress I went through, um, y'all remember, all that stress I went through with taking the test to become a licensed adjuster, which I still am. I could go to any company I want. I could, um, I could start a business and you could do anything with a license, adjust, adjuster's license, right? Um, but that's, uh, insurance is just not for me. That was my first job in insurance, and it's just not for me. It's just not. Let's just keep it real. Um, <laughs> and y'all know, I well, I have mentioned on here, I feel like a few times that I'm quick to quit a job, okay? I'm, I'm very quick. So it was, it was taking everything in me, child. It really was to stay and to really thug it out. Um, but at, like I was saying, when in the beginning when both recruiters were trying to get me one recruiter for this job um, for the call center one she was like well you need to um accept the position by uh tomorrow and i was like damn why are they so like you know anxious or whatever and then the other recruiter that was for the more paying job more of what i wanted to do actually um she was like, um, your interview will be on such and such date, which was like later in that month. It wasn't like t the next day or anything. So it's like, if I don't accept this one, what if I go in the interview for the other one? And it was just negative thoughts going through my head. I should have just went with my first mind and went to the uh, other position. But who knows? I might have not even liked that either. So <laughs> I might have not even liked that either. So. <clears throat> yeah um liberty does have some good um they have good jobs and opportunities and stuff if you're interested i would apply i just applied on indeed i didn't i don't and that's another thing i don't apply to anything on indeed anymore because i've been getting a lot of um well this is before i got my new job i'll tell you about that in a minute but i was getting a lot of um like spam calls from no offense to anybody but people from india like accents from india calling me um but they would be like uh, american numbers but it's like everybody in your call center are they all indian like something is going on this sounds like a scam because they will call me and um be like oh yeah so the most we can offer you is like 50k and i'm like okay I was like, but I I want at least 80K. And they were like, um, and they'd be like, okay, hold on. Let me speak to my boss. And then they'll come back in like five minutes. Okay, we can offer you 80K. Jobs don't work like that. <laughs> Interviews don't work like that. Even if it's a temp position, it does not work like that. So they were really harassing me off of Indeed. I don't know what's going on with Indeed. If people's um, resumes are attached to some call center in India, I don't know. But they were all Indian. I was like Middle Eastern, shall I say. 
I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, why is it always them calling me? You know, you hear the accent right away. And it's like, with these scam ass jobs and then they're hounding me like send your resume send your resume so one i actually did believe and i was like okay let me send my resume i sent my resume and then it was like what did he say he was he was like we can't offer you that anymore we'll have to offer you a little lower or something and i was like what what are you talking about i already like you told me to send my resume and i did what you asked me like it was just a whole scam me and my sister was like no so now moving forward um well I, <laughs> recently i um just started just applying on linkedin so linkedin is where it's at make a profile on linkedin go to the job section at the bottom there's a little job section you go to um and type in whatever job you're looking for me i'm into the recruiting and i told y'all i said i can go back to recruiting for as much as liberty was trying to have us do for forty thousand a year like what we're doing a lot like even the people in training was like we're basically doing the adjuster's job like we do a lot we do a lot <laughs> for forty thousand. that's that's bull twinkie so i mean but that may be a lot to somebody and it might be able to pay somebody's bills you know um but i know my worth and i know what i bring to the table and i'm not settling for that and if, on top of that having to deal with those customers no i'm not doing it so yeah i left and deuces and i don't regret it at all i don't regret any job i quit because at the end of the day you're working for somebody else and helping somebody else for their dream yeah you're getting money you're getting paid but at the end of the day that's not even is that really what you want to do like but everybody's not meant to be an entrepreneur. I know me, that's my goal is to be my own boss. Hey, these jobs do not care about you. At, at the end of the day, they're not going to give you no two-week notice that you're fired. They're just going to fire you. They don't give two-week notices. Oh, we're going to fire you in two weeks. Because they know that employee will probably leave before two weeks is over. Or whatever the case. I don't know. They don't care. They don't care. They laid off a lot of people during this pandemic. They laid off a lot of freaking people. And then now they're scrambling, trying to get people. No, we're hiring, we're hiring. And some, some, a lot of them, not some of them, a lot of them are fake hiring, putting up signs that they're hiring, and they're really not even hiring just because they want to still stay in line and get that um, the loans that they're getting from the government. Your jobs do not care about you. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. I'm a superhero, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'd be like, one minute you see me, next minute I'm gone. Period. But yeah, um, right now I am working for my uncle. He's actually paying me a, a really good. He's paying me a salary, really good money, and I'm basically like his assistant. And then on top of that, I'm still looking for um, a recruiter position that I could do because I still want to do a recruiter position. Uh, you know, I just like to have backup plans. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm looking I'm still looking for a recruiter position as well. And then I could do two jobs because his job, I really don't be doing nothing like i be doing like little stuff, but I really don't be doing much. So, um at the current moment um i'll still be applying to like jobs that i really really want um so i'll let y'all know i'll give y'all an update on that but in the meantime i'm just gonna help him out get paid for it like really like for real for this like just because my uncle doesn't mean it's le not legit like for real like i actually he actually has me on payroll so right now i'm about to actually um finish making my intro for the um for my youtube channel for the whole year i really it, the hard part about my intro is finding a song i have no idea what song i want i'm going through songs on soundcloud soundcloud trying to find like something that fits me you know like because i'm gonna have this intro for the whole year um, and I also want to change the font. Like, I really want some really nice fonts. So now, today, that's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing right now. Not for the whole day. But, the, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Y'all, and while he was here, he bought me all this office stuff. 
I was like, I don't even think I'm gonna need all this, but he bought all this stuff. He even bought open and close sign. I, like where, what? He's trying to be funny. And then, <laughs> like, all this stuff, y'all. Calculator, child. He bought, these are tickets for like the raffles um, cause I'm planning some events for a music video. Um, and he wants to do a raffle at the, at the, um, release party. So, he got this accessory kit. Like, what? <laughs> he was too excited to have me on board. Standard staples. Like, I'm not, I just don't feel like I'm going to need all this. Um, a ruler. Like, what? A stapler. Um, child. This is the, um, like all this stuff and tape and what is this? Paper clips and glue and what is this? This little thing. Um, what's in this bag? More paper clips. More staples. Child. Oh, and a damn punch holder. Smart touch. <laughs> a highlighter. And some more. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get, like, some organizers to put under my desk. Like, this is my desk. Y'all know I got my nice desk chair. I'm gonna have to get like some little drawers to put right there and I can put all this stuff in there. He even got this crate. Like I didn't have this crate. He brought this crate. Um so yeah, and then he also got oh Lordy. He also got this camera. This is the Rebel T8 uh I. I guess this camera was like a thousand dollars. I was like, is it really so Let's unbox. Let's do an unboxing. The paper inside. I guess. Oh, it comes with a little strap. Cannon strap. What is this? Y'all, I don't know anything about cameras, okay? So I had to learn all this. I'm like, what is my position? Am I a photographer too? So, <laughs> he got me doing stuff. But, um, okay. Got that. This is the actual, oh no, that's the lens. And then this is the camera. So, yeah, this is the camera in here. This thing is bulky and big. Oh my God, this thing is huge. This thing is big. <laughs> it's got being nasty. Um, so yeah, that's the company's camera. It's not mine, it's the company's. He said it's mine, but I'm saying it's the company's camera because it's gonna be mainly for like, you know, company stuff, I guess, doing pictures and stuff. But he also bought one for his son, so, um, who is hired as well. <laughs> So, um, his son would be doing photography. That's what um, my cousin wants to do in life. He wants to do photography. So, he's um, having him practice and everything with this camera. I don't know why he got two. Because I'm like, if, if my cousin has one, I don't see why we both need one. But, hey, it's his money. That's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do, I guess. But, anyway, so... I'm about to finish my intro. I just love my free time. I love my freedom. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to wake up to no freaking nine. To, like, I'm just child. It, and if it is a nine to five, let it be something I'm getting paid a lot of money for. Something that motivates me. That mo that motivates me. Money. Money motivates me, okay? I, it should motivate everybody. Because money makes the world go round. I almost fail. <laughs> I uploaded, it, so it can help with that. Okay, what did you need with the um this camera? This 
that you got? Oh, the camera? Uh, you can play with it. I mean, we're going to film and use it. That's all. Okay, just, I didn't know what she, I'm going to store it in the, at the desk. But yeah. you said she's going to email me? Um, well, I'll put you in a conversation. So you can reach out to her and then if she offers her phone number, because she may need, um, you know, a little information. Okay. But I'm just keeping you in the loop. All right, love you. Love you too. Sure. Look like you out and about, okay. No, I'm at the doctor's office. Bye. Keep your mask on. Bye. <laughs> Say hi to the people. Hello. You don't want to say hi to the people? Mama Joy. Got the candles for me. So the candles. She came to bring me a gift. She brought me this. She don't celebrate Christmas, y'all. So she came no after holidays. Christmas. No holidays. It's okay, just we because. get it. All just right. Because I love you. Just it's because. It's really yeah, nice. Oh, it's great. Look at this. <clears throat> She got me some earrings with my middle name is Monet. Really cute, mommy, thank you. Oh, and Tiffany, she got Tiffany, the ones that say Khadijah. Her middle name. You wanna shout out the company? It's called Black, Black Crown, Crown Jewelry. Yeah. Black, 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 Black Crown Jewelry. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, nice. You know I'm about supporting black businesses. You can do, you doing too much. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so mom just left. Uh, I'm about to try on these. Like, as soon as she walked to my door, she was like, fashion new package is right here. Now I'm just waiting on my Shein package, but I only ordered jeans once again. I already told y'all the BBL jeans, because your girl got a BBL. If you don't know, you're new here. Um, and I love the first um, pair, the, uh, the other two jeans that I got. I love those, but they're kind of big those were size um 11s and as you may know i don't know for sure what size i am exactly i really don't know so i went and got all medium or not mediums uh size nines just to see like am i a nine so i spent like a lot So I'm about to show you, I'm about to try them on. Okay, it even gives you like how to return them and stuff. This is only my second order ever from Fashion Nova. The first order was jeans as well. So we about to be Fashion Nova jeans out, okay? So these are so freaking cute. Oh my God, I love them. I love, I love, I freaking love. Like, so freaking cute yes 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 y'all <laughs> oh my god i'm a freaking size nine what the fuck and these are so cute like what what y'all and guess what i had to do to get into these I had to hop in these. I had to hop. I ain't never. I ain't never had to hop in no motherfucking jeans before. <laughs> I ain't never. I was so flat. I mean, I was so freaking flat. I just slide in some jeans. I ain't never had to hop in no jeans. <laughs> the struggle is real. I, these ones were kind of hard. I had to hop in these. Hop in these. So these are really cute. I love these. They just make my booty a little, a little flat, but not too flat. They still look good. But um, yeah, these are really cute. These are the ankle ones I was showing y'all. Really, really cute size nine, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Okay, so yeah, they go to my ankle. I was right on the money. I was right on the money. I was gonna get eight, and I was like, no, eight might be too small. These are perfect. Like, they fit perfect. These are the other pair. These were um, very stretchy. I like these ones. Very, very stretchy. They remind me of the ones I have already. Looking good, looking scrumptious. Tell me, is there any more room for me? In those jeans, 
in those jeans. <sighs> they actually do have rips. They have rips on the knees. Really cute. That's it. I can already tell I'm be wearing knees the most. <laughs> I love these. These are so stretchy. They fit perfect over my butt. Like, what? Hey y'all. So, hey y'all. So, I'm just sitting here. I just went to Chick Fil A. Ooh, excuse me. I, girl, I ate that food. It's gone. It's gone. I'm drinking my water. The lady forgot my drink. If you watching this, count your motherfucking days. I was uh, talking to my friend Andy, who I've known for years. Um, and we were talking about like Dallas and stuff. But he has a gaming um, Facebook page. I just wanted to show y'all. Give him a quick shout out really quick. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna, don't be looking at my Tinder. Look, I said, go Andy, go. That's me. <laughs> this is him. He's playing live, I guess. He's right there. Where's he at? Right here. <laughs> yeah, that's all I had was Andy. All I could do with it. <laughs> but this is the name of his uh, Facebook if you want to go check him out Game Game Vision oh, TV man. but y'all I'm still tripping like I'm a size 9 like <laughs> I'm a size 9 <laughs> I'm not on camera so my mother's here and I'm trying to teach her the lyrics to the song okay it's called uh, Victim of My Heart so from the top you playing games. Come on. The way you learn my body and the way you learn my mind. <laughs> now let's do it again. One, two, three. The way you learn my body and the way you learn my mind. Nothing. You're not getting the mind. The mind you got. Much. No! The mind you got going up. And you're supposed to be down. I can't help it. I'm a soprano. You're not a soprano! So. <laughs> and the way you learn my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. No, no, no. You have I'm Right. Okay, I ain't gonna do it today. I'm Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be Joe Jackson? I, you get, get no. Just practice the mind. You can get this. This is easy. Mind. Come on, get in there. Mind. Okay, there you go. That's better. So. Now start from top. The way you. You waiting on me? Am okay. I saying you? Think? <laughs> Good. <laughs> what we doing here? The way you learn my body and the way you learn my mind. Okay. That's better. That's only the first two lines. We got a whole song to get through. <laughs> this is too much. It's always about you. You have to listen to me. Listen to me sing the first two lines, and okay, and then I'm gonna restart it, and then you sing the first two lines. Hold on. I hate this thing. Okay. The way you learn my body, and the way you learn my mind. See how that went smooth? You have to think of it. <laughs> you know what? I'm No, thinking. you have to think. I've got it. It's, it's you, okay. Like it's your man. And you sing into that. <laughs> you have to this get deep. This is a joke. No, it's not a joke. You. you have to get deep in it. My. <laughs> I can't. This is retardation. 
don't know if you're gonna be Joe Jackson or what. The way you learn my body. And the way you love my mind. See, you're off again. <laughs> and I say every time I'm going, no. Cut, cut. Uh, so, my sister's here. She just came, but um, she stepped out for a little bit. King is here. Say hi to the people. Say hi. You little mutt. You little mutt. You little mutt. Okay, so I just gave him a bath because, yeah, he needed a bath. Anyway, um, I just came from Dollar Tree. So we were going to do vision board party thingy, me and my sister and my mom. But those magazines, child, they no joke. My sister ordered some food from... Um, I don't know who that is but my sister ordered some food from perry's uh what is it called perry's steakhouse um so we are going to eat that tonight they had like a new year's eve special or something like that so she ordered um that for us it comes with the entree and a dessert and i think an appetizer i think i got the lobster um bisque like soup and then i got their pork chop that they're famous for and then I think I got their um, pumpkin dessert thingy. I'll show y'all when the food gets here. But yeah, um, so that's what we're gonna eat tonight. Um, so I had the boards and everything, but we had changed our mind. We're like, we don't wanna do a vision party because the magazines that I was looking at did not have what we wanted inside the magazines. Seems like there wasn't enough magazines. I'm like, what is going on? So I just took all that stuff back and then I didn't know Dollar Tree does not do refunds because I've never taken anything back to Dollar Tree. Has anybody ever taken anything back to Dollar Tree? I've never taken anything back to Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I finally did today and it's exchanges only. So you only can exchange stuff. So she told me to pick out like 12 items because I had 12 items. So I just got like some foil and some hefty Ziploc bags. And I needed some more notebooks. So I got some notebooks. Clean up the kitchen real nice. I got this from Dollar Tree, this little family is everything thing. But yeah, I'm gonna make some hot cocoa because it's real gloomy outside. Y'all, this is what it look like out. <laughs> gloomy, it's been gloomy all day. And King is just laying here with his toys. Just relaxing. Um, Let's clean up the house, trying to keep it clean for the new year. But um, I think we're gonna lay on this blanket, lay on that. But yeah, nothing too major going on. Oh, and I'm doing laundry. So they say that you don't wash on the day of New Year's. Who's calling me? Yeah. Hey, it's like one in the morning right now. She got a pretty face, pretty waist. She's a dinner plate. She's the reason that my heart gon' break if she walk away. Like a girl from the back like this. I got a heart so I rap like this. She held it down till I turned to a prince. Now I'm a king, baby. Look at the wrist. Trey so bad, she blushed when I said it. Niggas got mad cause they heard that I'm trending. Easy 350s, I wanna go get it. Look at this jewelry, I look like I'm selling. Instagram warriors, these niggas be flexing. Bought him in person, now he acting different. 20 years old, but I'm super mansion. This from back home, gonna say I'm a legend. Niggas hating, but I'm still living. 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 Niggas hating, but I'm still living.
<laughs> Fuck you, man. Please sit over here. Old girl. Her? Why? I mean, they're her friends, technically. Okay, so what's the problem? She let you go, you ain't fight for it. Oh, fight all night. Party all night. Okay, we're 30 seconds away from the new year. Is everybody ready? 30, 30 seconds away. We're going to yell it. Yeah, we're going to yell it. It's probably about to be fireworks outside. <laughs> Where y'all go? Hold on. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. 15. Wait, wait. wait, wait. 14. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. 13. 13. 12. 12 11. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Woo! <laughs> Why are you 